Hello, I'm Matthew Rees and I'm an actor. My job day to day and on this show, brothers and sisters, is to play one of the principal characters whose name is Kevin Walker, the middle brother in a family of five very dysfunctional siblings who live in Los Angeles. My job as an actor is to interpret a script that I'm given a week in advance. Therefore, my day-to-day -day job is to interpret those scripts and to portray the character as truthfully and as accurately as possible. I'm from a small country in the United Kingdom called Wales. And Wales has a fantastic performing arts and oral literature tradition and history and culture. And uh, young children from a very early age are encouraged enormously to get out on stage. And, and as a result of that, I became interested in performing. It has taken me the grand total of 16 years to get to where I am now, working in film, television, theater, and radio. The amount of hours I work in a week depends entirely on the episode. You you can work 12 hours, definitely minimum. For this long day, you can be up to 14 hours a day. I certainly love aspects of my job. I love the creativity that my job brings with it. I love the input that you can have as an actor. I always think television and film are very collaborative mediums. I think acting requires a number of different characteristics. I think you need to be artistic, you need to be patient, you need to be resourceful, you need to be very tough because you're gonna deal with a lot of rejection in your life and a lot of criticism. So you need to grow a pretty thick skin pretty quick, but at the same time, you need to hold a balance of that sensitivity that allows you to play other parts and play other emotions. There's some scenes that require a greater degree of emotion or different kinds of emotion. And then coupling that with a very definite technical ability like hitting marks and knowing where your light is and, you know, blocking. That marriage of the sort of very creative and the very technical sometimes I find hard. I use an acting technique called sense memory whereby you tap into your real feelings of an event that happened to you in your past. On stage when I was playing Romeo in Romeo and Juliet, and I ran to use the restroom and I'm washing my hands. So I slap the top of this sort of faucet and the water comes barreling out and it curves into the bowl and then straight out and lands perfectly all over my groin and obviously looks like I've had a major accident. And at that moment on the tannoy system, they said, Mr. Reese, back to stage, please, Mr. Reese. So I'm under the hand dryer, trying to try and dry it as much as possible. That's not working. And then eventually I had to walk out on stage looking like I had wet myself. And I could hear people in the audience comment about it. Going back to what I was saying about sense memory, if ever I want to feel embarrassed in a scene, humiliated, that's where I go. As actors, your job is to observe and then to portray. So you have to be incredibly aware and sensitive in every aspect of your life to your the surrounding people, situations, emotion. You have to have that sort of sensitive awareness. Don't just read about acting, read about everything that'll inform your acting. Take fencing lessons, learn how to juggle, learn how to ride a horse, a bike, do as much as possible. Bring as many skills to the table as you possibly can.